2017 World Figure Skating Championships as the first skater in this final group takes to the ice and it's the young man who has been setting the standard when it comes to the full package in men's figure skating for a number of years now and he's still just 22 years old. Here is Yuzuru Hanyu from Japan. Olympic champion in 2014, the first ever in the men's event for his home country. World champion from 2014 as well. Zero is up to the ante in this short program, adding a quadruple loop. And just done with ease. Still a quadruple style, triple toe combination on the horizon. Bites to the outside, puts the foot down in between the quad style and the double toe. That'll come off the grade of execution. Beautiful triple axle in the second half, straight out of footwork. The last two years have resulted in a pair of silver medals at the World Championships for this young phenom, Yuzuru Hanyu from Japan. But with a mistake like that in the short program, he's going to have to fight for it once again in the free skate. And what's so important to note is that the mistake on the quadruple style didn't seem like a big deal. But because he put the foot down and then reached back and did the double toe, that becomes an invalid element. And that's a one point deduction, a mandatory minus three. So an element that usually gets around 13 or 14 points, he's looking at about six or seven points on the score sheet from that element. That is a lot of points to leave on the board when there's this many quads in the field. So are you saying he would have been better off not trying to put the toe onto that landing? That's also an invalid element. So if he hadn't done the combination, it's a lose -lose. <laughs> if he hadn't done the combination, I believe he would have gotten zero points. So he played it correctly. So you have to have a combination. You have to have. It's a requirement. You have to have an axle type jump, a solo jump from footwork, and a combination jump. So with only the axle jump remaining after the quad style combination, he had no other choice than to fight to put that on. But unfortunately, because he lunged out of it and the side of the boot went down, that cost him a lot of points. You don't want to say it, but he may as well have fallen for all it did.
Well, this opening quad <laughs> loop was gorgeous, Just however. Just beautiful, and you have to think, when you're adding to the arsenal, you get through the hard part, you think things are in the clear. Quad Sao, a very easy jump for Yuzuru. He puts the foot down, and it costs him a ton of points. It wasn't a major break in the program. That is the benefit for him fighting to stay up, because you're not going to see it get knocked off on the program component scores. But still, when we've seen two men do quadruple lux combinations, those scores are huge. Yuzuru has some points to play with because of his quality on the other elements, but he definitely gave back more than he wanted to today. Jin Boyang from China and Nathan Chen from the United States both completing a quadruple lux triple toe. Now, we've seen Yuzuru Hanyu complete the quad sao for a number of years now. Do you, does it happen often where the easier quad jumps sort of struggle a little bit when you're adding new ones to your arsenal? The easier quad jumps is a brand new term in figure skating. 98.39. You see there his longtime coach, Brian Orser, saying it's still very close. They're questioning that deduction, which you explained, Ryan. I'm sure they'll take a look at the pro protocol after the fact and figure out exactly what that was for, but it puts Yuzuru Hanyu currently in second place.